What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of The Long Dark in which we will today, I think we're going to head on out to the trailer park. There's like a little set of trailers out, I guess I'll show you anyways. We've got 9 hours of daylight left, we've got more than enough food, more than enough water, and so everything is looking pretty substantially set up right now for us to have an adventure day. And so let's have an adventure day together, shall we? If we go off this way, there's actually, how cold is it right now? It's minus 2. We should be alright, we're a little bit hungry and we're a little bit fatigued, but I think we can make it out there without too many problems. I hope. We're gonna give it a go. We got eight hours of daylight left. All that we can really hope for is maybe that the weather will clear out and make our lives a little bit easier. I'm not carrying a lot of weight with me right now. Let me get my rifle out in case anything decides that it wants to take a piece out of us because obviously we are the bearer of many sexy little pieces and the wolves, they're jealous of that fact. The wolves, every single day, they're always hounding me about it. They come along and they say, hey, let me have that wonderful little piece just right up there on the side. That little flank right there, can I have that? Because it looks pretty delicious and I'd like to put it inside myself and I say hey hey I don't want any part of me inside any part of you first and foremost there's indictments for those sorts of things secondly I need that part every time you eat that part the quotient of awesomeness goes down slightly at a certain point we're gonna hit like percentage points where it's just like 0.75 percent of my awesomeness you know it's we can't do it anymore we just can't do it anymore and so since it's not sustainable what I prefer to do for right now eh, is not hunt a wolf. That's what I would prefer to do right now, is to never hunt a wolf ever again. At least not at this point. If I kill a wolf right now, I actually have to carry around the loot with me. And that makes it into a giant pain in the ass, because it'll break off this adventure sooner than it actually begins. Like, we gotta get out here and do this first before it's... Oh, don't do that. There's prepper bunkers out here somewhere, but they spawn in random spots every single time that you play the game. I typically don't spend a whole lot of time looking for them. I find that that's actually a waste of time looking for them specifically. There's a couple of hot spots that I know about where they show up every now and again. Not consistently, but there's a better chance of them showing up at any of the three locations that I'm talking about or thinking of in my head than anywhere else. And so typically what I personally do is I'll go out and I'll check those three, and if there's nothing there, then I'm like, hey, I'm out, and I just don't worry about it anymore. What is that over there? Let's take a look. I see a weird rocky edge. It could be nothing, but it could be something. It could just be a boulder covered in snow, but I figure we'll investigate since there's not much else to do to anyways today. The Long Dark is one of those weird sorts of games where you... There's no narrative. There's really nothing to do, per se. It's more or less just you kind of like filling in the gaps with stuff that needs to get done, but this is where we were going anyway, so if there's a safe way down this hill, I'll take it. Doesn't look like there's a safe way down the hill, so since... Ooh, are we sick right now? Our character just coughed. Healthy with no afflictions. Okay. Well, I guess that's that. I like how our little ragdoll is nude. Just like a naked lady laying on our page right there. Which part of your body does not feel good right now? I wonder if the male is anatomically correct, because the female is. If the male doesn't have a willy, I want my money back. I'm sending it to return. Steam, I require you to give me my money back for the long dark because the male character doll has no willy on it. It upsets me. Equality! I don't know. I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about right now. I'm just making shit up to talk about while we walk to this lumber camp out here. This is going to be the last thing that we'll probably hit on this map before we go out and start exploring other locations. I hope that thus far, there's no way for me to know because I pre-record a pretty big chunk of this series before I go out and do anything else. One of the spots the bunker can spawn is up and in over there. So we might check that on the way back. Once again, I apologize for the bad frame rates on YouTube. I can't. This game's got the worst frame rate in the history of mankind. Like, it's very, very difficult. Even when I play without anything recording or whatever, on a GTX 980, on a computer that is built for rendering, recording, and streaming, like, specifically for those tasks, unfortunately, the game is just not optimized at this point. Apparently, it has something to do with the old engine, and when they move up to Unity something, rather, it'll be fixed, or, I don't know, whenever they switch engines, it'll be fixed. But they said for right now, it has to do with the way that the game accesses multiple cores, and as of right now, it only utilizes one core, so there's not much you can do about it in order to fix it. And so, pretty much people with really high-end computers have been complaining on the forums that they get bad frame rates, and people with low-end computers get good frame rates for some reason. It's just all engine related. I think we've got, yeah, there's a flare right there. I'll take you along with me. It's a little bit dark in here, so we might consider, did I bring a lantern along with me? I don't think that I did. However, I do have matches, so we'll use those. Those work just as well. All right, nothing in there. I go through a lot of matches when I play. Is that actually a bedroll right there? It's not. There's a plastic container right here, Plastac, as they used to say as the Indian in the cupboard. Got some work boots and stuff right there. If for nothing else, we can tear them apart and use them for something later on. I can't recall if we went to the ranger station in this playthrough. I'm trying to think about it right now, and I can't remember if we went up there. 
It was either one of the first things that we did or we didn't do it at all. And I'm getting it confused with all my other playthroughs right now. There's nothing right there. Is there anything underneath any of the beds? You should always crouch down and take a look because sometimes there's like little cans of beans and random stuff that are rolled up underneath the bed. How they rolled a can without depressurizing and exploding it, I don't know. It's like one of those, you know those guys that used to come, I don't know, they just says your high school? When I was at high school, they would have like these groups of guys come along every now and again that were like bodybuilders and they would like, ooh, rose hips. Yes, please. Rose hips are actually fairly edible. They're pretty, I don't know, I, it's not something that I'm into. I know a lot of Turkish candies and things like that have like a rose flavor as I recall. I don't know. My One of my girlfriends had a big old box of Turkish delight or something at her house and I remember some of them were rose flavored. Like they were flavored to taste like rose hips or whatever. It's a flavor that I wasn't accustomed to or ready for. I won't say that it's unpleasant, but it was a flavor that I had never had anything rose flavored before. Like typically in the United States, rose stuff is, it tends to be a fragrance, not a flavor. And so for me, it was kind of like one of those odd things that I had never experienced before. Oh yeah, we got a down ski jacket right there. So if you're down to ride, it's down to come with you. We've got ourselves nothing else on this side. Check underneath the beds. Sometimes at a long proximity, it can help too. It doesn't look like we have anything though. This was actually kind of a bust over here. Not much that I could do. I mean, there's a good bust and there's a bad bust. I'm going to say that it's the bad bust for right now. Actually, I guess there's a good bust, there's a mediocre bust, and there's a bad bust when using the phrase. Bust has a lot of meanings, doesn't it? Well, I'm going to go with the bad one for right now. Go inside this trailer right here. See what's going on. All right, we got a Summit Soda right there, a newsprint roll. That'll be helpful for making ourselves a little bit of tinder later on. Summit anything. Soda on that side. Indeed, be prepared for anything. You can actually use an aluminum can. As I recall, if you can cut up and fold it properly, it might be a little sketchy. Never mind. I'm not going to say that one because somebody will take my word for it. It's a little iffy. It's a little iffy. Either way, we got more newsprint right there. Anything inside this drawer? Let me rifle through your drawers for a moment. Look, I'm rifling through your drawers. Give me your loot or I will rifle your drawer. Oh, look, we've got wood over here. Yep, cedar firewood. Okay. We're not overweighed yet. I find that to be incredible. We are taking penalties right now due to fatigue, though, so it might be a good idea. How many hours of daylight do we have left? Let's rest for a few hours, shall we? I think that's a pretty good idea because our fatigue is actually looking fairly nominal right now, and it's going to become a major encumbrance if we don't get it under control right now. Since I don't remember if we went to the ranger station, it might be an okay idea to head out there right now. I don't know if those are useful right now. It looks as though they don't actually have a use. I'd prefer to stay away from eating any of our canned food right now if I can help it. It may become unavoidable though. I don't know. We have two options right now. We can either evacuate and we can head back to where we came from. Or B, we can head off to the ranger station. With four hours left, I'm inclined to believe that we have plenty of time. With our clothing being the way it is, we should be good to go. I just think we got to run it out, though. I don't think it's going to be one of those things where we can get it done right this second by walking. But if we hustle, we might be able to make it work. I hear the sound of creaking trees, unfortunately. Hopefully they don't decide to fall on my cranium. I need that to be, I need that to be intact for our adventures. Doing this while brain damaged, I don't think would work very well. Might throw a wrench into the plan. A slight intellectual wrench. On that side, we've got a deer over there. Okay, nothing to worry about. The place we're trying to go is going to be right over here, and actually the way that I'll know that if I've been over here, we actually have a backup plan right now, is there's going to be a dead body or a backpack at the base of this big rock outcropping right here. And if the rock outcropping does not supply us with loot, I will know that I've been here already if this has been searched, because I almost always hit this over here. There's typically either a dead body or a backpack, and I get excited every time that I see them, because when I see random stuff laying around in snowbanks in this game, I get really, really excited. My monitor is so spotty right now, and I don't mean that in a way where it's like going in and out and not working properly. What I mean, is this been searched? It has not, which means that we have not been out this way. Okay, well, it might be worthwhile then to spend a night at the ranger station rather than running all the way back home. I see no reason why we should rush ourselves and get into trouble that way. What is that over there, a wolf or a deer? I think that's a wolf. I don't recall where I left my traps either, now that I'm thinking about it. We have to have left a trap here somewhere, right? Did I leave a trap out here for rabbits or did I leave a trap out? I'm not going to think about it too much. Still, we don't have the calories to make it through the night, so killing off the wolf might be a decent plan in order to secure our long-term survival. There was also occasionally a wolf corpse or a deer corpse out here that we might be able to use. The wolf over there, how's our weight looking by the way? We're at 30. I think I can make this function. I think I can make this work. 
I'm gonna back up slightly till it straightens out. Got him, and there it is. I tend to go after the wolves. I always talk about that, but I very much prefer to go after wolves. That's just the way that I play the game. Some people hunt deer. I hunt wolves. I like to be the predator of the predator. It's the way that I feel the manliest. People can say whatever they want about that and say that, you know, oh, his self-confidence is lacking because he has to go out and kill a wonderful forest creature, but it ran at me first. It was heading right for us. I'm going to point that out in the most Uncle Jimbo of styles. It was headed right for us. So we have zero hours of daylight left. We're almost out of calories. Now would be the time that we really, 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 really want to hole up inside this building up here. It looks like the temperature is dropping out on us. Hunger is getting higher. That's going to be something we can take care of, though. I think we are carrying firewood and some tinder along with us. We have a fire striker. So this should all come together and not be too big of a pain in the ass. We've got plenty of water. We've got plenty of things to keep us sustained. I think I'll probably scavenge inside the ranger's hut for anything that'll be useful inside of there for, like, wood and other burnables just so that I don't have to worry about it for right now. But, yeah, my monitor's spotty right now. I think I've sneezed all over it or something. I sneezed on it. I It's got spots all over it. I need to go and get some monitor wipes. You should actually... The thing you want to know is you should always get water-based. I don't know if people know this, but you should never get anything alcohol-based for a computer monitor. It eats away at the plastic from what I've read. And so anyways, you want to get water-based cleansers when cleaning your computer. That's why they're specially they're specialty like computer wipes. That's why those are a thing. This walk always seems long. Every time I do this walk, it's in a state of desperation. I'm just like, "All right, we can make it up the hill. We can do this. Put it together." It's weird how the long dark like there's so many like long walks in between locations where you accomplish essentially nothing. But you're just like soaking in the terrain. After this, what we'll do is tomorrow's we'll cut that way, and there's a lake over there, and we'll see if there's anything to scavenge from that location. If the lake decides to be bountiful, then we shall hang out there for a little while. But for right now, I'm just gonna get some wolf meat cooked up. We're gonna fill our belly. We're gonna fill our water supply, and then we'll get the hill on out of here in the morning. God, this hill is enormous. Imagine having to walk this thing every day for work. That would suck. You'd be in shape, though. I bet you burn a good 100 calories every time you come up that bastard. I know it doesn't sound like that much, but that's actually pretty good for such a short walk. I always get paranoid right here like I'm going to fall off the edge every single time. Okay. I need to put down concrete blocks or something over here because these are leaning outwards. they got to fix them to something so that we don't have these problems. It's getting colder right now. It's minus 2, but actually it's minus 21 outside. That actually speaks to the efficiency of the gear that we have right now in keeping us warm. I don't think we're going to have time. Let's just run upstairs. I'll try and scavenge out a little bit of wood. We're going to start losing some of our condition fairly soon. But that halo scared me over there. I thought there was like a wizard hiding on the mountain. I was like, no! What could make our survival experience worse? Wizards! Okay, so in we go. Oh, good. We haven't been here. Oh, a second rifle. Okay, that's pretty cool. We got a can opener. We got some food right here. I may have to... Let me get the sodas first, actually. I may have to dig into some of this because we're going to have to... Yeah, the sodas will kill both of our problems at once. Not completely, but at least it'll take off some of this. And it gives us less to cart back with us when we leave here. So there it is. We'll take that. We've got our partial wolfskin cloak that we haven't finished yet. Should probably work on that a little bit further, but eh. Those work boots are pretty beat up, so I'm going to harvest them for right now. It's going to take an hour and a half to harvest those. Never mind, we won't do that right now. Got newsprint. I would like... Ooh, rifle ammunition, though. That's good. That makes me happy. So we'll take that five right there, and that'll keep us secured into the future. Got a little bit of cedar right there, which is really, really nice. So we got cedar, and we got a normal fire log. We got three cedar and a normal fire log. We may actually not have to break anything down here. I have accelerant with me, although with cardboard matches and newsprint... Let's just go with the fire striker for right now. I should take some chances and take some time and get the fire striker fixed, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I need to sit down and... Not salvage it, but I need to apply some scrap metal to it and make it work a little bit better. Although, I don't know how you would functionally do that in the real world once a fire striker is used up. I don't know if that's a magnesium fire striker or if it's just like a piece of steel that you run a stone against. I don't know exactly how that works. I've never seen a fire striker that looks like that before. I've seen magnesium bars that you just scrape off a bunch of chunks down into your fire and then after that you light them. But that's about the extent of my knowledge. We'll throw the fire log in there and that should give us more than enough fire for the eve. In fact, get rid of all of our fire resources for right now because, honestly, we're carrying around way too many logs and things, and I don't think it's going to be that helpful. So there's less than an hour of daylight left. I'm going to cook up the wolf meat. That should get us to the opposite end of the spectrum with regards to our health, which will be very, very nice because you want to keep your caloric intake up anytime you're in a cold environment, a very, very cold environment. Believe me, your body uses up far, far more calories than you would guess when you're in a cold environment, just like generating heat to keep yourself warm. And given all the hiking and all the random stuff we've been doing along the way, I think there's definitely precedent being set right now 
to where we want to keep ourselves as filled up as possible. Now that we got that. Let's have a look. We could melt some snow and get that going. What time is it right now? And how fatigued are we? We're pretty fatigued. But I think we could get away. Let's take a little bit of time. We'll eat some meat right here. That'll get rid of some of the weight that we're going to be burying back to base. Because we are going to be bringing back a gun with us. Which is going to be fairly heavy. I'll eat part of that right now. Hopefully we don't get food poisoning or anything like that. Food poisoning used to happen a lot. But I'm unfamiliar with how the mechanic works now. I assume that it only happens when you eat things that are bad for you. So glad we're inside right now. Although this place seems like it could chill out real, real fast. It doesn't look like it's the best insulated. We'll leave the fire where it's at for right now. Although I don't sleep with lit fires. I always feel nervous about it. It is self-contained, but I don't know. I'm always nervous about sleeping with lit fires. It's just something that I was raised to be like. I figure we probably shouldn't waste our time, right? We'll melt some water real quick, because I don't think that'll take us much more than an hour or two. There we go. And then we'll get this guy done right here. Why are there chunkies inside of it? Shouldn't be chunkies inside of snow water. I'm pretty sure there was snow water. It should be, I mean, there should be some light floaties, but definitely not the big-ass chunks right there. It looks like somebody lost a chunk of their intestines inside of our water. We're careful about this stuff. All right, so we've boiled some water down. That's going to be helpful, because actually right now our thirst is very, very high. So, there it is. We'll take a little bit of a load off right there. Our fatigue's looking pretty high. I'm going to rest till morning. I'll see you on the opposite side on the flippity flop. Although, typically, what ends up happening is I sleep in a little bit right here. I've been doing that a lot lately. I don't know what's been wrong with me in real life, but I've just been fatigued like all the time in real life. Just mentally tired, physically tired, and I sleep like a stupid amount of time now. More than I should. Enough to where it like gets in the way of work and is like embarrassing, but I don't know. I think it's just like a post. It's got to be like a post-winter malaise. I think that's what it is. I think that's what it's got to be. So we got 12 hours of daylight left. How's the weather looking outside? Six degrees inside, so it's like in the middle 40s inside the building right now. But we do have a lot of clothing on, so it should be all right. Fatigue's down. Hunger's looking good. We can finish off the remainder of that wolf steak. It's kind of like a little hooray for me present. While we wait for the weather to get a little bit better, I am going to harvest these boots and get the leather out of them. There we go. So now that the leather has become ours, that'll also alleviate a little bit of our weight problem. The down ski jacket. What are we rocking right now? We've got the premium winter coat. Okay, so obviously I don't really need you. It'll take me... Oh, nope. Harvest you. It'll take me 20 minutes to get you all nice and done. We're dehydrated again? All right, I'll drink some water in just a moment. There we go. Momentary water accomplished. Yep, go ahead. Enjoy. We're not dehydrated any mo. So now what we need to do is let's go through this place. We've got pinnacle peaches. we got some beans. we got another can opener. Never turn down a can opener in this game because you never know. Searching this box over here. Provided us with nothing. First aid kit. Got us covered on a candy bar. And some antibiotics, which might be helpful. And another hunting rifle, just in case. And so it's a 303. I thought this was a 308. Okay, well, I don't know which rifle we're going to use, but that means we could harvest one of them, which will give us quite a bit of parts out. I'm going to save it for right now because I don't think that this is the time to do it. However, we'll harvest the cloth off of those very quickly. And I think that given the amount of loot that we've picked up today, I think it's time for a long walk back to base. I think we're in a very, very solid position to sort of just, like, excuse ourselves from here. We should also check up on and under here. Sometimes there's axes and crowbars and things up and underneath the bed. Take the newsprint with me as well, because why not? Radio's dead as hell, so unfortunately that's not going to help us out. Sorry, Kiba Gooding. Go back in here. How's the weather looking? Minus 16. Ooh, it's too cold to leave right now. It's unfortunate, because that's going to get out of control really, really quickly. Let's give it another hour or two until the weather clears off. Sometimes you just have like a big spout of bad weather and there's unfortunately nothing you can do about the endless drizzle that comes down from the sky. There, it looks a little bit clearer. Yeah, this is much more survivable than minus 17. Minus 17 you want to stay the hell away from because even with really, really good gear, minus 17 is going to be a very fatal situation for you if you get caught out for too long. Well, we got bullets. We got guns. We got two magazines right now. Hell yeah. So we're looking pretty solid right now. Looking pretty solid. So as I understand it, what's the difference between a clip and a magazine? A clip, as I understand, is not self-contained. It has like exposed components and a magazine. Or does it have to do with the way that they feed into the, I don't know, the way that they feed into the action area? I don't know. 
I don't really know what to say right now. I'm not a gun guy. I never disassembled one. I looked at some of the engineering schematics and some of those, like, how it works type things for him for a little while, and it's kind of fascinating watching all the moving parts. However, I don't get into mechanical stuff very often. Let's... It might be worth looking around for the bunker out here for the next five minutes or so. Given the tree cover, it's a little bit difficult to tell where it might be at. But there's a spot over there. There's a spot that I pointed out back over there where we came in, but I didn't see it. And then there's a spot like back in and over here that we can take a look at. And so I figure that's a good way to end out the episode. We'll go ahead and walk the perimeter right now and see if maybe we can see a prepper cache out here. The tree cover is going to be the big detriment right there. It provides a pretty severe and pretty strict penalty to your eye line. And so unfortunately, my eye line, or so my line, I suppose, is not as good as I would prefer it to be right now. We already killed the wolf that was out here, so I don't think we need to worry about that for right now. Specifically where this thing might be at. I don't think I've ever found a prepper bunker in this game. I don't know if I've actually ever locked one down. I scan around. They're always along the periphery of everything else. Like all along the outline of this area tends to be where they hide. But I've heard that they've actually expanded it out and made it more frequent that they're in other locations now too. So we could take a look though. Just kind of like walk the hills and see what happens. I'm about to get bit by a wolf because I hear the crackling of twigs underfoot. Which makes me feel like I'm getting run up on. It's getting a little bit colder right now, but it's not too bad. I was expecting that once this little flurry, this little gust that came through, I thought we might end up with a little bit of a problem, but we should be alright. What I like to do after I hit the ranger station, I just walk the right-hand side of all this right here. And I just keep an eye out for anything that might be useful. You can walk all the way back up and in here. Apparently she's not stoked about the prospects of walking up into the mountains right now, and so she's giving me a couple of grunts and verbal complaints. It's okay. I don't stop until written complaints. You've got to get it down on paper, otherwise it doesn't count. That's the way that the world works. If it's not on paper, it don't count. Continue our little hike here. I think we can make it up this hill. And having now made it, this provides us with a really excelsior advantage point from which, for us... Did I just crack my ankle? No, we're looking pretty good right there. Alright. Well, it provides a jump-off point for us to search the region. And so I'm going to walk slowly when going downhill. Everybody that watched my first series will know that going downhill while running tends to cause sprains. It can be problematic. I don't think I see anything over there. That looks like it's going to be too steep for us to traverse. And so I'm going to go down this way. We'll walk along the edge here and hope that we don't slip and lose our balance. If we don't find anything between here and the next three or four minutes, what I'll do is I'll run back to base in between episodes. And having run back to base, I'll get us started. We'll start thinking about going to some of the other zones and grabbing some of the goodies that they're hiding from us over and in there. Because that's the next place that we want to go. This zone is almost completely and totally taken care of. A couple of schools of thoughts as to how you should handle that situation. Some people prefer to just live in a zone until it runs out of supplies and then they take what's left and they move to a new zone and re-centralize. Some people go out and they just bring stuff back and forth in between the zones so that they only have to live in one location they can just bypass days as quickly as they want. There's no right option right here. There's only varying degrees of rightness. I like centralizing things around one location, going out and getting them and coming back. That can be dangerous because unforeseen things can take place while you're out and about in the middle of the wilderness. However, it's just what I prefer. It supplies me with stuff to do, places to walk around, hikes to have, all that fun stuff. Did we hit this location over here? I don't remember. Let me go check the bodies real fast. Have a look-see. This guy appears to be quite rigid. See if I can help out with that a little bit. Nothing on him. Dead guy over here. Died on his way out to the outhouse. Ain't that a bitch. He's got lantern fuel, which is actually pretty useful because I think we're out. Over here one time I found a pry bar next to this. I was like, man, if you need to get a, if you need to use a pry bar to use the bathroom, you need to get yourself some fiber, my friend. Or find yourself some shredded mini wheats or something. That's not healthy. That's all bad. This guy froze to death inside the cabin. Not good for him, but it might work out for me. Let's take a look around here. This actually is looking fairly barren. All right, well. Got nothing for us right now. I'll grab some beef jerky and a candy bar. That looks great. We're now encumbered. Some of that's going to be due to the fact that we're carrying around too much stuff with us. The thing that I always go to first, if I'm trying to get weight off real quickly, is I always go to my water first because it tends to be the thing that takes off a pretty big chunk. We've got too many sewing kits and things. I'm actually going to drop the rose hips out here because I don't think they're going to be that useful for right now. And that'll get us down below where we are. 
if we end up needing rose hips for anything, hell, I'll come back and get them. But I don't actually think that rose hips have been implemented as of right now. So we might not want to carry them around with us. It might be just extra weight that we don't have the shoulders for. All right. And so that's going to leave us where we are right now. Now, there's going to be a lake over here. And the reason I bring this up is because when you get to the lake, what you want to do is you want to loop up and back around because there is a prepper spawn up and around the back side of the hidden lake. And so it's worth looking. If you have the time to go up and around back here, there is the chance that you'll come across a fairly substantial, like a big, big grip of loot. And so I always take a look just in case. It's never worked out positively for me yet. But don't discount chance. Every now and again, something might go right. Still, I don't think we have much else going on right now, so I'm going to walk back to camp. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of The Long Dark. I look forward to spending time with all of you in the next episode. Hi, dude, and I'll see you next time, everybody.